a chapter a day to brighten your way. When you do things for God, you glorify Him. Hello friends, let us read the Bible together. Today we'll be reading 1 Chronicles chapter 26. Every country has security guards set up outside important institutions to enforce access control because this is the first line of defense and needs to be strictly guarded. God's temple was completely holy and also needed to be carefully managed. So David selected the best of the best to be temple guards, mainly responsible for guarding the gates and filtering the people who entered and left the temple every day. If you still remember Obed-Edom, a Levite who served the ark, then you will see how God blessed his family through today's passage. Let's read chapter 26 together. 1 Chronicles chapter 26 As for the divisions of the gatekeepers, of the Korahites, Meshelamiah the son of Kor, of the sons of Asaph, and Meshemaliah had sons, Zechariah the firstborn, Jediel the second, Zebadiah the third, Jathniel the fourth, Elam the fifth, Jehohanan the sixth, Eliahoanai the seventh. And Obed-Edom had sons, Shemaiah the firstborn, Jehozabad the second, Joah the third, Sakar the fourth, Nathanael the fifth, Amiel the sixth, Issachar the seventh, Peulathai the eighth, for God blessed him. Also to his son Shemaiah were sons born who were rulers in their father's houses, for they were men of great ability. The sons of Shemaiah, Othni, Raphael, Obed, and Elzabad, whose brothers were able men, Elihu and Semachiah. All these were the sons of Obed-Edom, with their sons and brothers, able men qualified for the service, sixty-two of Obed-Edom. And Meshelamiah had sons and brothers, able men, eighteen. And Hosa of the sons of Merari had sons, Shimri the chief, for though he was not the firstborn, his father made him chief, Hilkiah the second, Tebaliah the third, Zechariah the fourth, all the sons and brothers of Hosa were thirteen. These divisions of the gatekeepers, corresponding to their chief men, had duties, just as their brothers did, ministering in the house of the Lord. And they cast lots by fathers' houses, small and great alike, for their gates. The lot for the east fell to Shelemiah. They cast lots also for his son Zechariah, a shrewd counselor, and his lot came out for the north. Obed-Edom's came out for the south, and to his sons was allotted the gatehouse. For Shupim and Hosa it came out for the west, at the gate of Shelaketh on the road that goes up. Watch corresponded to watch. On the east there were six each day, on the north four each day, on the south four each day, as well as two and two at the gatehouse. And for the colonnade, on the west there were four at the road and two at the colonnade. These were the divisions of the gatekeepers, among the Korahites and the sons of Merari. And of the Levites, Ahijah had charge of the treasuries of the house of God and the treasuries of the dedicated gifts. The sons of Laden, the sons of the Gershonites belonging to Laden, the heads of the fathers' houses belonging to Laden the Gershonite, Jehiali. The sons of Jehiali, Zetham, and Joel his brother, were in charge of the treasuries of the house of the Lord. Of the Amramites, the Itzarites, the Hebronites, and the Uzulites, and Shabuel the son of Gershem, son of Moses, was chief officer in charge of the treasuries. His brothers, from Eliezer, were his son Rehabiah, and his son Jesheah, and his son Joram, and his son Zikri, and his son Shalomoth. This Shalomoth and his brothers were in charge of all the treasuries of the dedicated gifts that David the king and the heads of the fathers' houses and the officers of the thousands and the hundreds and the commanders of the army had dedicated. From spoil won in battles, they dedicated gifts for the maintenance of the house of the Lord. Also, all that Samuel the seer, and Saul the son of Kish, and Abner the son of Ner, and Joab the son of Zeruiah had dedicated. All dedicated gifts were in the care of Shalomoth and his brothers. Of the Itzarites, Kenaniah and his sons were appointed to external duties for Israel, as officers and judges. Of the Hebronites, Heshabiah and his brothers, 1,700 men of ability had the oversight of Israel westward of the Jordan for all the work of the Lord and for the service of the king. Of the Hebronites, 
Jerijah was chief of the Hebronites of whatever genealogy or father's houses. In the fortieth year of David's reign, search was made, and men of great ability among them were found at Jazer in Gilead. King David appointed him and his brothers, 2,700 men of ability, heads of fathers' houses, to have the oversight of the Reubenites, the Gadites, and the half-tribe of the Manassites, for everything pertaining to God and for the affairs of the king. Praise be to God! Obed-Edom had many talented descendants who were chosen to serve God as gatekeepers. In addition to these guards, the Bible also records other temple duties in this chapter, such as managing the treasuries of the temple and the dedicated gifts. There were also people stationed on the other side of the Jordan River who were responsible for handling local ministry. When you do something for God, it doesn't matter whether it's big or small in His eyes. Whether we're in a big city or a small town, as long as we have a heart that loves God, we can live our lives to the fullest and walk with God. Let's pray. Dear Jesus, thank you for accepting my service. They might be insignificant in the eyes of the world, but I believe they are important and glorious in your plan. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. A chapter a day to brighten your way. See you tomorrow. Jesus loves you, and I love you too.